What's up everyone and welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2025 Mazda 3 hatchback. Let's get right into it with the chart. Mazda is going to get you seven different options on how to get your 2025 Mazda 3 hatchback. And it's going to range from the 2.5S starting at just under 25,000 and we're ending at the 2.5 Turbo Premium Plus at just under 37,000. So across these seven price difference of about $12,000 separates them. So hopefully there's one here that falls in your price range. Thankfully they all jump up just a little bit at a time uh, to hopefully really allow you to get it behind the wheel of one. So engine options, what are we talking? The 2.5 S trims, you're gonna have a 2.5 liter four cylinder, 191 horsepower, 186 pound feet of torque. If we go with the turbos, you guessed it, you're adding a turbo charge onto there. 227 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, and Mazda definitely points out you're gonna get 250 and 320 if you go with 89 octane fuel. Transmissions, first three there have a six speed auto. Actually, they all do, except for the S Premium, which would be a six speed manual. So, a good option there if you're looking for that. All wheel drive only on the top three trims, the rest are front. And look at an MPGs, a little bit dispersed, but pretty much all the same. Uh, best setup will be uh, on the non-turbo trims, but turbo is not too bad. Real quick guys, here Ben's Car Reviews. I strive to bring the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and a waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so you can check the channel. Let's keep going. I think this is one of the most slept on designs in the general category of sedans and smaller uh, being this Mazda 3 hatchback. I just really think these things are low, aggressively shaped, and look a lot better in person than they do in pictures. I think this is a fantastic option for people, so let's get into it. One of the key features that makes all Mazda models look so good and mean are the lights. This hatchback carries that on with standard and standard on all models with LED headlights, taillights, and daytime running lights. Obviously those thin angles of the headlights plus the almost like two cat eye look of the taillights just looks really good. Really sharp, you don't necessarily expect that on a vehicle like this, but you're getting them really on every Mazda. Key part of what they are, you can always tell when it's a Mazda. All the grills will come in a gloss black finish. All the rear spoilers will be in black also. All but the 2.5S have rain sensing wipers. All have a rear wiper. The Turbo Premium Plus adds a windshield de-icer as well. The carbon trims and Turbo Premium Plus have black side mirrors. The rest are body colored and all but the 2.5S are heated standard. Rolling these things down the road will be 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels with silver metallic finish on the 2.5S. The rest will have 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels with black metallic finish. The one exception being the S preferred, which is a gray metallic finish. All season tires will wrap all of these wheels. The 2.5S is 205 on the width and the rest gets you a little extra width at 215. A spare tire is also standard, thank goodness. The carbon trims have only one color option. The 2.5S has three options, and the rest will have your choice of the color range, which of course is fantastic because Mazda always does their color options so well. They just seem to be more vibrant and more creative. All trims have standard Sky Active Vehicle Dynamics with G Vectoring Control Plus. Front wheel drive models get a 13.2 gallon fuel tank, and all-wheel drives get a 12.7. This thing measures in at 175.6 inches long, 56.7 inches tall, has 5.5 inches of ground clearance, and weighs in at most 3,397 pounds. Really all in all, this is a pretty straightforward vehicle, and a great way to get from point A to point B. In terms of choosing a best bang for your buck, I think the S Select Sport will be the best value for your money. As you'll see in the next section, to really gain standard features on the interior, you need at least to buy the S Premium, which hits 30,000 and change and is 6,000 over the base 2.5S. To really gain over the 2.5S, you'll want the carbon turbo. The Select Sport and Preferred are largely the same vehicle, and the Select Sport does have many things over the 2.5S that you'll want for minimally extra money. For those reasons, I'm choosing the Select Sport I don't see a need to spend more than that if you're trying to be minimalistic. Let's get into that interior now so you know what I'm talking about. A classic Mazda interior design here. Familiar looks and function, which is by no means a bad thing. There's a lot of potential here for the price tags. 
Centering your dash is a standard 8.8 .8 inch full color center display. The Carbon Turbo and Turbo Premium Plus get a larger 10.25 inch full color center display. Let me know how you like this style of screen. I prefer integrated, but this still definitely looks nice. Carbon trims and Turbo Premium Plus have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. The others have wired. A 7 inch driver's info area is standard on all trims. Looks clean and easy to read for your important info. Carbon trims and Turbo Premium Plus get a wireless charger. There are standard dual USB-C ports on all of these. The bottom three trims have a six speaker audio system with Mazda harmonic acoustics. Carbon trims have an eight speaker version. S Premium and Turbo Premium Plus have the Bose 12 speaker premium audio system with center point and audio pilot. The 2.5S has manual air conditioning, the rest have dual zone automatic climate control. The S preferred and higher get the power moonroof. Turbo Premium Plus has a frameless auto dimming rearview mirror with home link. Turbo Premium Plus is also the only trim with paddle shifters. There's a leather wrap steering wheel and gear shift knob on all but the 2.5S. Turbo Premium Plus is the only trim with a standard heated, heated steering wheel also. The 2.5S will have cloth seats, S Select Sport, S Preferred, and Carbon Turbo will have leatherette. S Carbon Edition has red leather trimmed, S Premium has leather, and Turbo Premium Plus has perforated leather. So definitely many different ways to get your seats in colors and trim. S Preferred and Higher have an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat with power adjustable lumbar support, and 2-position memory as well as heated front seats. Again, all S Preferred and Higher have that. These are five seaters, and you get the normal setup of 60-40 split fold down rear seat back, which will accommodate 20.1 cubic feet of storage. And Mazda will set you up with some nice driver's assist, safety and technology features. Overall, I really like what they did here. I think it all makes sense of how they optioned these out. Jumping up the trim ladder, you get more for your money, as you can expect, but the lower trims still have stuff that you'll want. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a vehicle heading in 2025 here, you want a smaller ride, you want some hatchback capability, plus you just really like the look, I think you're making a great choice. At least check it out, this Mazda 3 hatchback. Um, definitely some other players in this category, uh, specifically the Toyota Corolla hatchback comes to mind, and I can I will attach my review. I just did that one for 2025 at the end of this video. Um, certainly maybe a Golf, Volkswagen Golf GTI, Honda Civic can still go against this. Um, there are definitely things out there that are, are going to compete as far as size, but if hatchback is specifically what you want, uh, that does narrow the list a bit. Uh, probably the Corolla hatchback is going to be your biggest competition of this. Um, and again, each of these is doing their own thing in a great way. They both look great. Uh, they're both very different from each other, but both getting the job done. As far as giving you uh, a fair amount for your money, I think Mazda might be giving you a little more. Uh, but definitely check out my Toyota video there uh, to directly cross compare these, cross compare the charts. Um, but Mazda always does a great job of giving you so many options. Uh, prices slowly increasing as you go up the trims, but there's many options there um, so that if you want one in the middle of the pack, there's not only three, which makes it increase 6K to get it, something like that. So definitely a lot of options here to check out, but if this is the route you want to go down, I think it's making a great call. They're fun. They look great in person. Definitely go out for a test drive, see if you like it. Hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Benz car review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have any for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to come remember the channel, I have that option. Check that out and join if you'd like, and I'll catch you in the next Ben's Car Review.